Welcome back everyone, Sean Stevens here again with Metroplex Mortgage Services, bringing you another USDA Loan Pro video quick tip. USDA property eligibility requirements are top of mind for both home buyers and their realtors alike. In today's short video, I will keep you in the know by explaining key guidelines that affect USDA property eligibility. However, before we get started, please take advantage of our free second opinion service. This complimentary service is designed for both new pre-qualifications and those loans that are already in progress. Just call, text, or email to discuss your scenario so we can go to work for you. As families continue to search for affordability and review available inventory, we commonly receive scenarios asking whether a USDA loan can be used to purchase a home with an accessory dwelling unit, and if that will be considered a USDA eligible property. As a starting point, USDA guidelines require that a qualified property must be predominantly residential in use, character, and design, and do not permit buildings principally used for income producing purposes, which includes multi-unit properties that are designed to generate income. With that being said, a home with an accessory dwelling unit, commonly referred to as a mother-in-law suite, can be an eligible property type provided it meets the following USDA definition and guidance. An ADU refers to a habitable living unit within or detached from a single family dwelling, which together constitute a single interest in real estate. The presence of a single ADU does not automatically render the property ineligible. The appraiser will determine if the ADU represents a second single family housing dwelling unit. The appraiser must consider all property characteristics, specifically the status of the utilities, if they are separate, and the property's highest and best use when making this determination. The appraiser will include their evaluation in the site analysis and highest and best use section of the appraisal report as applicable. ADUs which function in support of the household members, such as multi-generational households, are consistent with single-family housing. However, those designed to create a potential rental income stream are not. The expectation would be that those spaces would not be separately metered for utilities or have a separate address. In summary, provided an ADU is in compliance with zoning laws and building codes, a USDA loan can be used for the purchase of a property with an accessory dwelling unit, but the appraiser must determine that the property constitutes a single interest in real estate that is there to support the household members and not a second housing unit designed to create an income stream, such as a tenant paying rent. As a USDA approved lender, we will walk you through the USDA qualifying process step by step. Just call or email to discuss your scenario and let us show you the Metroplex difference. And I want to thank you again for forwarding and sharing today's video with any family, friends, co-workers, or clients who are looking to buy, sell, or refinance. As always, I want everyone to make it a great day, and we look forward to seeing you right here for the next Tip of the Week.